much um, mobility that you could try to lock down. Obviously, Nidalee, in terms of like locking her down and then just essentially blowing her up. In a team fight would be great, because you also do deny the smite, so. Don't think it's that bad that they do last pick that one there. Yep. Kesman, Coach Kim, walk on out. And uh, here we go. This is going to be your pick split push style composition from T1, Blitzcrank and the Callista on the bottom side, TF Nidalee, and then Camille on the top. And uh, I feel like this is largely a finesse composition. You really do need to understand exactly how to make this comp. This is a slow moving juggernaut of destruction. And they do want a team fight. Definitely easier to play. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly does have a lot of nuance, but it is more about the 5v5. Yeah, that is for sure. Will we see another Aphelios destroy the rift? <laughs> as we saw earlier on today is another question. Can they overcome Teddy and Kuri this time down in the bottom side? Yeah. Also debuting on Blitzcrank, Kuri certainly knows. Is there some reason why that skin might be better than some other skin? I don't think it's like the eye Blitzcrank situation. Oh boy, here we go. All right. Rock in a hard place, it's where Dudu is, and there's the gold card. First blood goes over to Kana. Yep, Faker now not too far behind as far as EXP as well, as uh -oh. they're going back top lane. Faker doesn't care about that minion wave whatsoever. As the Obliterate comes in, I believe he did have Death Realm. And uh, Kana's in there at the moment, but... And uh, they get two summoner spells out of the Callista. Definitely good news is... Uh, this is just getting cruel. Death Realm not up right now. Yeah, Dudu just I'm not gonna up. be giving away another Drake uh, without a fight. As Death Realm comes down, kind of actually not surviving too well uh, outside of that. But now, in comes Cad. There's the bad news for Kana. That aggressive. Uh, you have to know that Trundle's coming or Cinder's coming, so I think you should save your hook shot. And then Dudu pushes out for some reason. I, I don't know. He's obsessed with pushing the lane. And he is going to give another kill over after. In this game, otherwise things will just slowly fall away from them. This is going to be a 50-50 though, as there's the destiny. In goes Curry. We'll see who steals it, and it is going to be Kuz. As Curry goes in, <laughs> four-man knock-up, and Teddy doing so much damage. Curry is going to fall down, but the Mordecai has been popped. Looks like T1 still want to deny Soul Point. Kana here towards the bottom side. And there's the destiny. Baker gets down. South of the Dragon, Wild Cards started to do a bit of damage here as we'll see whether Cards can get another steal. There's the Fates Call as Miru flashes onto Cards and takes him down. But the Drake is going to reset as Harmal Life lose two in the process. Pretty wonky there. I, I think that was some... <laughs> that was like a oh, crazy meanwhile. pull. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kanner actually just teleported up there. So that also means that T1 guarantee this Drake because Dudu teleported. I think it's actually a brilliant idea for Canada to get up there because as soon as they use that they're not going to be getting back for a potential Drake fight. That's... <laughs> okay. You can do that, by the way. The Fates call with the pull. Yep. And it's like... Oh. The ultra reposition. Unfortunately, forced to play to the beat of uh, T1's drum as uh, Faker is put in the death realm for a little while. Exhaust comes through. As Faker does have flash if you'd like it. He's going to use his Zonyas first and Death's Grasp. Not going to be quite enough, as he's got Destiny. Teddy comes in, they want to take down Miru first. Very smart, actually. And then Faker jumps in. Over to the split push lane, and to help him out. And Faker did a great job of surviving for that amount of time. Humble Life kind of grasping at straws with that pick. All right, well, Vipe is actually able to get a fair bit of work done here. The Sentry Turret also under Curry doing a ton of damage, as Viper with exactly the right weapons in the last time. Let's have a look at what Faker does here. Said I'm death realm. Uh, said I think I'm dead. I think I died. Yep. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Gets the kill. Nice dodges here by Viper. Yeah, that sidestep on the hook was actually really clean. Yeah, and that gets Corey in a position. You remember Twisted Fate. His destiny gain used to be his E. <laughs> you know, it was on like a 20 second cooldown. You just yeah. bounce around the map. Seems, seems fair. Yeah, super balanced. As Dudu's getting solid underneath his turret here by Kana. 
And uh, he's going to be able to lock that one down successfully. Somehow, Aphelios stole the Mountain Drake. Okay. Not sure how that happened, but... Aphelios versus the world. Yeah, I, I think that might be the case. As the split push is on, though, guys. And this is what happens. You just lose everything because yeah. T1 are uh, not really interested in team fighting. Yeah, it's like nice Mountain Drake. That's not Mountain Soul. Even if it was, I don't even know if... For the ultra long-range CC auto attacks. Very cool. As yeah, Dudu. Uh... Puts himself in the Death Realm, I think, is uh, what we're saying here. What's better, Death Realm or the Hextech Ultimate? Made him a life bar. And this is called only having bad decisions to make. As Dudu's uh, just going to get murdered underneath Nexus Turrets. What the heck, Kana? Oh, man. I actually feel bad for him. Oh, my goodness. Zero and eight now has been achieved, I suppose, as Kana is not being very nice to the rookie player here from Hot Life. Puts him in his own in, death uh, The spring season. Remember, it was actually a week of uh, Kana. not exactly the best. <laughs> as uh, Miru, bullying is Kana. not okay. Okay. I think I've seen this like montage video of look at this Even broken build. I'm not sure if you have enough time. I actually, I've never seen that one. I have, of course, seen the the original combo, but that one would be super cool. <laughs> Imagine. As we are going to. Uh, have a look at these top lane minions. There we go. Just have a look at the replay. Mirror. Yeah, he oh, was on vision no. as he was killing. Oh the no, he's just outside of the brush. Oh, that's what feels real bad. Yeah, I mean, he, he saw him go in the brush and he was like, okay. You're about a year ago? A year or two ago? Something like that. And uh, we're just going to see the Trundle die very, very quickly. Ken has found his way into the back line. Viper is still alive. But I don't think there's enough years ever anywhere that's going to save them. As Faker <laughs> make sure that Miru is oh. not able to get any work done with the ultimate. No one's dead on the side of T1, and they kill turrets extraordinarily quickly. Lehens goes into his stopwatch, but he will be taken down. Miru also, I don't, that was incidental damage, I guess, as uh, Viper Captain Jack cleansed. But honestly, it just does not matter what this Aphelios does, because the Nexus has been destroyed. T1 with an absolute blowout against Hamola.